Hey, how's it going everyone? Today we're going to create a little project. One of my favorites that is, it's a trading view, so basically a stock chart wid widget. And for this we're going to actually use a couple of APIs. So we're going to use one specific API that is from trading view. So if you just Google, uh, say Google and trading view, you should land on this little web page right here. Okay. Now, when you're trading view, you're going to go up here on this little menu button. And from here, you're going to go to more and then for business. And then you're going to go to all widgets. Okay. So click on all widgets and you can do this using HTML or using react. The HTML part is extremely simple. So for example, I have here already a project up and running. Let's say let's go here. Uh, you know what? I'm going to delete this. Don't even need it. Boom. Let's say you have an HTML file, index.html. And you're going to go, we're going to create this little widget right here. You can basically track any kind of stock you want. So if you just copy the HTML code, so you can see here, HTML or React, you're going to click on HTML, copy the code and First of all, you need a boilerplate because if you just paste this in, it's going to be a div. So I would suggest you do a shift exclamation mark and within your body, just copy in this boilerplate. Now, right click, open with live server, and this should already run in, where do you have it? There, perfect. Now, one little thing, let's make this larger. I'm also going to zoom in. Uh, one little caveat here. It's going to look like this, extremely small. What you need to do is go down where you have your, let me just, close the left part up we have your auto size set to true you're going to set this to false okay hit save and then it should resize okay this is how it should look now you can search for a specific stock for example you're going to search for Microsoft or now yeah let's search for Microsoft Microsoft micro soft okay and you can either choose to get the uh, US Nasdaq stock change from from New York or you can take it from Milan or the London Stock Exchange or the German Stock Exchange from Frankfurt so just take it from New York and there you go you can now watch your it's basically for the entire year watch what Microsoft did for that entire year I can also change this up to track each and every minute it's going to give you the day and you can see that on the last date that this would open momentarily the stock exchange is closed because I'm recording this on a Sunday yes and maybe you hear my kids crying, but that's just how kids are. And Mama Bear is going to take care of that. Okay, and the last time the stock exchange, the stock exchange was open was on 18th of, 18th of August. And it closed at, well, at, uh, at uh, 20 p.m. our time. We know it's closing afternoon. So you can change this. You can change it to linear. You can change it to, these are, you need to, but it's only for pros, so you need to basically buy uh, that diagram right there. We can see here it tanked a lot, and yeah, it, it's pretty cool. You can also download the image, boom, save it. So let's say you're going to save it on the desktop, and there we go. We just have here an image of what the stock just did. This is pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Now, if you want to do this with React, it's even cooler. Uh, let's go to the React code. You can copy the code. Let's open up a React application. I already have here a React application up and running. Let's just say I'm going to paste it in my app. In my app.js right in here, in the div. Uh, let's say it's going to be a container. And I'm going to, instead of this app, paste in my widget. Uh, actually, you know what? I could just create here in projects and create a new project, new folder. Let's call this trade view and create here a new file. Let's call this as like we have it here. So basically this is exporting a component, I'm going to call it trading view widget. So I'm going to create that file, trading view widget .jsx. And also using trading view, so RFC, you know what? Nothing, I'm going to do that. I'm just going to copy and paste the code in here. 
and it should already work. Let's see, use ref not defined. Pum, 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 pum. Oh, this is defined here, but I'm not bringing it in. So I'm going to bring it into my app. Okay, so let's bring it import uh, trade view and paste it in here like a component trading view. Okay, and there we go. You already have this. Uh, let's go again right in here. Let's change this the auto size to false again. So we're going to have a larger uh, map. Okay, so there we go. You can use it also as a React component. Now, this is extremely useful. I am using TradeView for my personal stock portfolio, but I'm only using it for uh, for moving average and so forth and so on. I use a different platform. But this is not about stocks. I don't want to sell you any kind of stocks. I just, I just wanted to show you that you can create extremely simple widgets by using APIs. And again, you can select here indicators, 20, our moving volume, blah, blah, you can change the stock. Uh, let's say meta. Let's see what met, meta did. Meta did. It did okay. Meta also did okay. So it's not about a complex project. <laughs> I just wanted to show you that you can do this. Now, of course, you can link all of these up as variables or as states, and you can manipulate this code. Okay, so as you can see here, it's changed for the Nasdaq, but let's change to dark dark theme boom there's a dark theme so you can add these as uh, selectable widgets as selectable states in here and change them by clicking on on them okay so i hope you enjoyed this project this was actually well not a complex project but a pretty short and cool project you could just bring this in somewhere and it would just work okay so i hope you enjoyed it if you did Give this video a thumbs up. If you have any other questions or suggestions for future videos, then please leave them in the comment section below. I am Norbert PM. Wish you a lovely day. And subscribe and click that notification bell in order to get notified. So, wish you a lovely day. Bye-bye. Take care.